Hello everyone and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Last episode we ended up actually making it to the Lanai region and we found out it was a barren desert with a few stones called time shift stones and they bring us back to the past and the past is very technical. This episode we're going to explore the Lanai region even more and cool an ancient flower. So let's head forward. Okay. So we're in that desert area. Nice. Um, we have a new enemy here. I forget what these guys' names are. Ampelis. Okay. So Ampelis. I'm not going to go and read what you have to say, Fee. Ampelis. They're going to try to hit you. You want to go and make them hit the wall or... or, or there's another way to take them out, but I'll go further in detail with that. But mostly, if they see you here, you just want to go and aim them toward a wall or have them roll around for a bit to hit something. And they will end up hitting it and not hitting you. Pretty simple stuff. But anyway, let's keep heading forward. I think you can also throw bombs at them. That did, that did not work. Well, that time it did. Oh, he killed a tumbleweed. <laughs> okay, so I'll go over here. He'll be better off going and trying to hit me here. You can get their attention by, like, just hitting them. Ow. Well, that worked. <laughs> Shouldn't have worked, but it worked. Oh. So, there are tumbleweeds now. And I'm not going to get that one. So, we're just going to leave that tumbleweed to be, though. For the current moment, I can't get up here. Okay, nice. Okay, tumbleweed. So, these are a new um, item in this region. Tumbleweeds you can pick up by your um, net, or I think you can find them on the ground somewhere. Just like if you walk over them. I don't remember if that breaks them or not. I think you have to catch them with your net. But you can find them in chests. But tumbleweeds are very useful, so you want to keep an eye out for them. I want to go and pick these up. Okay. Nope. Stop putting away your shield. Okay. There we are. Oh, wait. I forgot we had 20 bombs. I might want to top up on those. Wait a minute. Okay, Link, Link, Link. Great if you could pick up the bombs whenever I go over to them. There we go. Most efficient way to pick up bombs. Just juggle between two bombs. Even whenever there are multiple bombs in an area. Okay. So we see a few skeleton bones. Nice. See a cool, like, thing that we can do over there. Really don't see a way forward currently, but we might find one. Who knows? Okay, you got a tumbleweed. Yeah, exactly what I mean. You can find tumbleweeds in chests. Tumbleweeds sometimes roll across the sand in Lanai Rude. Yeah, she's just gonna say exactly what I said. Yeah, collect them with the bug net. Thanks, Fee. I, I literally said that like five. Mm, not even five sec. Like a minute ago. So it's a little bit further than that. Um, I'm gonna try to get this stone in here. Maybe that will have something for us. Okay. Nice. Okay. Seems like it. That's very useful to us. Nice. Oh. Okay, we got a new enemy now. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Will you be patient for a second? There we go. So these, I forget their exact names, but they're Technoblin. These are Technoblins, and... There is an easier way to go and take care of these guys. You don't want to swing wildly with them. You want to take your time, or that's going to happen. Or you can just do this. Strike. Come on, strike. You can just stun them, and then you can take them out that way. Easily. Okay, fatal blow, thank you. Help! I don't know why I gave him actual emotion. He's a robot, but yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> okay, let's talk to this dude. 
Thank you, Zert. If you hadn't come along, they would have sucked all the electricity out of me, Rim. Um, oh, look at that, Zert. You have a beetle. It appears to be an older model of the Lanai roof fabrication. As thanks for saving me, I will update that for you. Um, give it here. Second so fling. Okay, nice. We got a new item out of that. I've added a pincer modification so you can grab things, Bert. So, get out there, Zert. Okay, nice. So I'm guessing we can do things with the hook beetle now that we weren't able to do before. Okay. So I'm guessing we can grab bombs now or something? Yeah. Nice. So yeah, the hook beetle is pretty much the same as the old beetle, except it now has more utility, which is very nice. I always like it whenever they let you upgrade items in Zelda games, and I like that that was the one thing that came from this game. Because this game was the one that started that, mostly. And then A Link Between Worlds just ran with it. Okay. So you gotta go and head forward. Get these rupees, why not? See if we can find... I should have rested. Whoops. Impatience. <laughs> okay. Not to go and do this again, great. That was a waste of time. Hey, Link, come on. Let's do this. Don't roll in this quicksand. I don't know why I even did that. Okay. There might be more to go and do. Speaking of things... Oh, come on. Don't want to mess up my beetle. Okay. Here's another way to take out the... Electro... Spume. And now we have the puzzle to go and do, which is pretty easy. We just play, um, bomb skip ball with our beetle. We're kind of cheating, but, you know, I think does that sometimes. I mean, he has a whole bunch of items in his arsenal. It's, it's only natural. The beetle did not like that. <laughs> okay. Let's keep heading forward. Oh, I completely messed that one up. Okay, time to go and get the beetle through. Should be able to get this now. Okay, nice. I would show you a little trick with um, those, but that will come later. Okay, for right now, we're getting rupees. Let's go across here. Oh, oh, very. I don't think I let my stamina recharge fully before I did that. That's my bad. Okay, let's go over here and get this um, amber relic because the amber relics are very useful. And my stupid butt um, decided to go and basically sell all my amber relics at one point in the earlier episodes. And I don't know why I did that. Okay, I see a new bug here. No, no, no. Okay. Ah. Uh, we didn't get it, but um we'll we'll find another point in time to get it. We have a new enemy type, which I forget how to even see. Cause he doesn't come up to you. So I don't even think I can lock onto him. I don't think he has flavor text. Um, I think those are cargo rocks. I'll put in the thing if I get them wrong, but mostly how you deal with them surprisingly enough is you take the beetle <laughs> with the bomb and you just kind of go over their habitat. It's pretty brutal, but you just drop bombs on them and they drop a sizable amount of rupees. I am pretty sure that they are cargo rocks though. One thing that we can go and do with the beetle now, I'm gonna go and see if that bug is back. No, it's not. Okay, so we, we're gonna have to wait for that a little bit. 
but we have these. So, ampelices. You can also take them out by, you know, carpet bombing them with a beetle. Pretty brutal way to die. Um, I'm not gonna say I fully stand for what Link did there, but I, I get why Link did it. So let's get over here. Let's get to a place where we can't get shocked by this spume. I don't think we can. Anyway, okay, we can. Okay, so I'm just gonna go and use a regular bomb on you. Ow. I mean, it's not very good what happened there, but yeah. Okay, got the beetle there. Let's just take care of this Ampelis. Well, the Ampelis could also do that, which kind of breaks the flow of what I was trying to do. Well, I killed it. <laughs> nice. So that helped me out a little bit. I want to get over to that, but it might happen in a little bit. Ooh. I'm, I'm going to get here for a second. And then I'll go back around whenever that guy respawns. Because, as you saw... Why did that one just roll on into the, like, thing? <laughs> okay. As you saw, they will notice you, but they will also respawn whenever they are shell for a while. So I just need to wait for this guy to be focused near the area where the goddess cube is. The beetle has a good hook range. Come on. I don't think that's close enough. I think that's the exact same spot I killed him in last time. Well, we'll try it. Because he likes to walk or walk away from the box. Oh. Oh, Link did it. There we go, buddy. Can't pull out my sword just yet. Okay, nice. Okay, got it. Nice. <laughs> I didn't expect Link to actually, like, make that, but I'm happy he did. Very happy he did. Okay, let's see what's in these dig spots. It's probably just rupees and stuff, but you never know. We might get useful stuff out of them. Okay. Rupee. Pretty, pretty safe stuff. Let's go and use our beetle. Yeah, this dude's gonna notice Link. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so we're gonna go and just look down. <laughs> Pretty, pretty simple stuff. We, we've, we've pretty much got this down. This is basically the main mechanic of how you're going to take down Ampelis is at least going forward. Because most of the time, Ampelises are going to be around those. I'm going to try to go and make it over here so the stamina can recover faster. Kind of got the stamina for it too late, but whatever. Okay, let's head forward. Let's head up here so we can make that little shortcut because I think I saw a little shortcut back here. We could have also used that to go and get to the block. I didn't really think about that, but um, that, that is a thing that could have happened. So we should have done that too. But you know, hindsight's 2020. Um, go and get this. Okay. Yeah, the Lanai root ants are pretty much the easiest bug to get. I don't know if we got the other bug. Yeah, we literally missed the one bug. Okay, that's what I was worried about. I was like, I was like, I know we've gotten everything else. Kind of wondering if that bug is back now that we made our way back around. If it's respawned or not. I mean, there's no reason to not go and check. It's, it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> and that tumbleweed I could have grabbed, I should have. Because it's literally like I have the net in my inventory. You can't pick up them on the ground, obviously. Because she also then went and told us. So, I'm thinking of a different game, maybe a different collectible even. But, like, I know that you could get them out of chests, and that's more of what I mean. Is like, the only way to get them is through chests, or to get them in that. Let's go and grab this. And the Ampelis is now down. Okay, nice. Got a little boat ride to go on. So we have timed platforms. Cool. This time. 
Hello, sir. Thank you for doing that. You made my life a lot easier, to be completely honest with you. Because every time he goes and does that, he's going to be sent back. That just makes it easier to just... Okay, he was just out of range. <laughs> that makes it easier to just do this. Easy. Okay. Don't mess it up this time. I messed it up this time. <laughs> okay, we're just going to back away a little bit. That way he doesn't get into his rolling motion immediately because obviously he's getting into his rolling motion and fucking it up. Yeah, there we go. And that's going to create that. But I might be able to use that to get over. Actually, getting over there would have been just the Gruda Dragonfly. You know what? Not really the most worth thing. So let's head over here really quick. Okay. Take out this spume. And probably get the hook beetle out. Because honestly, I want that heart. Just because I want to be topped off. I mean, why not? Okay. Let's head forward. Is there anything over here? Because I don't remember if there is anything over here. But if there isn't, then there isn't. Okay. There is not. So let's just head forward, I guess. Nothing really else that we can do here other than go and get that Gruta Dragonfly, which, honestly, not my favorite thing currently. This is the most boring part of this region, this whole area, because while it is a cool, like, environment, it's not really good gameplay-wise. I will admit to this, this is the weakest that Lanaru has to offer. And the more that, or the faster we get out of this, okay. He's gonna start spitting at me soon enough. Oh, he have like blocked? Oh my god. I blocked him too. So you know what? It doesn't really matter that much. Um, let's head forward and get this shortcut up. But yeah, this is the um least fun part of Lanaru Desert. Is just going past these. Because well, it's a cool environment, yeah. But gameplay wise, there's not much here other than you know, running, waiting for your stamina to go down, and then running, waiting for your stamina to go down. And a few enemies here and there. It's a cool, like, thing. I, I'm not gonna lie. I like the environment of it. But it's definitely not the best thing gameplay-wise. Um... We can head forward further on here. Got these things. And we've come into the Temple of Time area. And... I think that might be it. For this episode. This is Ordon Herder here. Signing out. See you guys in the next one. Next episode, we will explore the area around the Temple of Time. And we will find where Zelda is.